Well, I'm going to start with the, uh, the contract. Okay. Uh, a smiling face, a smiling face on Ian Witten as well. It must be lovely when you want to stay somewhere and it, and it happens. Yeah, to commit your future for a long period of time to a club is always, it's always nice, especially for, for family security and stuff like that. I've got a young family at home, so it's nice to be able to provide and you know, be in a stable place now for the next three years or three and a half if you continue this year. Getting picked obviously shows that the coach has got faith in you, but when you get a three-year deal as well, it must mean something special to you, knowing that they, they really rate you and they, they've got plans for you. Yeah, I guess it all comes from when they first kind of find you out. I got found in the championship and um, yeah, they, they took a chance on me to come and show myself and I feel like you know, I'm, year on year I'm improving and, and proving myself to them. So yeah, to get a three-year deal from them means they have the, the trust that you are still, you know, I'm sure Rob will say there's still places to go and improvements to be made. Um, you know, they have the trust that you can get there and you're playing at a high level of standard for our team and doing doing good within our team. When you look at the progress you've made on the field as a, as a club, and there aren't many people, I guess, that want to leave Exeter at the moment. It's a place that people do want to stay. Yeah, if, you're, if you want to play competitive rugby and you play at the highest level, I think Chiefs is the place that most people would like to go to, yeah. Now, let's talk about this weekend then. Glasgow, one job for you guys is to go and win. I think the bonus point is going to be crucial. I think most people accept that. It still might not be enough. For you as players, do you really care about what's going on off the field? Or is it just about making sure you don't screw it up on the field? No, I wouldn't even say it's about scared, being too scared to screw it up on the field. I think the, the main thing you got to go there is with the intensity and the, the attitude to go out and just play play our game. You know, that's the first and foremost. And you know, if we play our game, the victory will come. I think you, you overthink the victory, and you'll get you know, you'll start being in your shell a bit. So go there, start well. You know, and what will come will come by our by our intensity and by our style. If you can get past the group stages into the quarterfinals. I guess when you beat Montpellier here, you beat them away. You know, for example, you've run Le Leinster really close over there. There's no reason if you get to the last eight why this club isn't capable at the moment with the squad you've got of, of actually going all the way, is there? No, there isn't. I think if we play our game and we play our game well, we can beat most teams in Europe. So, yeah, it's all, but again, it's all about how we go out there and start. Yeah, if you're going to start poorly, then you're going to end up without the results. So, you know, if we go there mentally, mentally switched on and, and ready to go, you know, we, and we fire into Glasgow every way we want, there's no reason why we couldn't beat anyone else. And just looking international announcements tomorrow with squads, I know your name got mentioned around as an Englishman at, at some point. How do, you, how do you see yourself these days? I see myself as a Chiefs player and a Chiefs player alone for now. And, you know, I'll push myself as hard as I can to play for the Chiefs and whatever comes, comes, but I'm not focusing on that at all. Otherwise, that's all good for me. Can I just get a bit more about yeah. your contract? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit So, when Buzz? Yeah. As you said, Mitch, you've, you've been part of a great journey here at the club over the last few years, and uh, it's only exciting times ahead, I'd imagine. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, a European goal is definitely within the club's uh, ambitions, and you know, I'll, I'll hopefully be around for when we can, can achieve that, because you know, it is going to happen. Um, you know, whether it be this year or whether it be years to come, it's, it's always something we want to strive for. As well as Premiership, you know, we want to make sure we're the best team in England. So, you know, if we're the best team in England, we're going to be proving that year on year when it comes to Premiership final time. As you alluded to, Rob's not afraid to go into the Championship to find some big forwards to yourself, the likes of this, uh, Harry Williams, Tom Francis. Yeah. It, it's proven a, a good breeding ground for you guys. Yeah, definitely. There, there are still a lot of good players in the Championship as well. You know, there are a lot of ones there that probably haven't been picked up yet and are going to come through eventually. But um, yeah, it is, and it, you're lucky enough that, to be picked up by a big club like Exeter and you know, showing the faith that you wanted at the start to, to come here and develop and prove yourself. And you know, it's lucky enough to do that for another three years as well. I was going to say, it's been an exciting three years for you, but probably more looking to the future. You know, there's a lot still to come from this side. Yeah, definitely. Heaps to come. Um, heaps to come from the club as well in terms of expansion outside of uh, the ground as well, which is fun. And, um, but on the field, you know, our focus is always there to win those games, show show how well we can play, show show the world how well we are as a team, and how you know it's, it's a fun place to be as well. You know, obviously as well that Rob gives you a three-year deal. It shows that he's put a lot of faith in you, and he sees he likes what he sees with you. You know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. He puts the trust in you for three years, and it's not something you can just go, yeah, I've got three years and sit back now. It's, you've still got to push yourself week in, week out. You know, if you if you turn up and just slack off now that you've got three years, on, he's not going to be happy with you at all. So, see where to come. Show the right right attitude at training for years on, and uh, you know, push the team for victories that we want. Okay.